Hello, welcome back everyone. It is January 7th, 1942. We're back with another episode of Alphabet Commander, continuing struggle against the Empire of Japan. Let's see what this turn has in store for us. Start off with a little ASW con combat near Lihui, as the Mugford, I think, is kind of running away here from Pearl Harbor after being repaired. The uh, O-16 sadly misses its attack at Kindari. We're on to the night air phase. We've pulled out our air from Singapore right now, just too many sweeps, too many, too much bombing. Uh, I couldn't uh, put enough planes in the air. That's exacerbated right now because British pools start very low and most of my fighters in the Singapore area are British. So I just don't have the, the planes to put in the air right now until those pools recover a bit and I start to get more uh, hurricanes because right now I've been leaning on the buffalo a lot and uh, as you've seen, it's just not a uh, a great fighter. Even early war, it's not uh, it's not very strong. Some unloading at Lunga, and at Buin. If he's still unloading next turn at uh, Lunga, I might be able to uh, intercept him with some destroyers I have in the area. We'll see. Chances are he's going to be done unloading by the time I intercept, but we'll give it a check. We'll see if we can make it in the uh, the night phase. And on to the naval phase. The Japanese I-69 puts a torpedo in one of her AKLs, uh, bringing uh, some supplies north to uh, Davao. Day movement phase. Oh, that would have been nice. Uh, Glorio launches seven torpedoes at the Chiho. All of them miss, though. Oh, what a shame. We're on to the air operations phase. Large bombing raid on Pearl. I think he has the altitude dialed in. Yeah, 20,000 feet. Hard for our uh, flak to hit him way up there. Nels go after Kuching, as well as some Mabels. These Mabels will probably get torn apart. Yeah, they do. So eight of those Mabels go down. Betty's come in. Pearl's getting pretty beat up. Uh, sweeping um, here south of Medan, and that's not going to go well for my Hawks, and one of them goes down. Bombing at uh, Win Cow. I moved most of my uh, fighters out, but uh, there's still be some damage on the ground, and one gets damaged a little bit more. More Mabels come in, and more Mabels are going to get uh, destroyed. They're just really vulnerable to fighters, I find. A bombing raid over Port Moresby. Uh, my poor beleaguered uh, Buffalo defenders are going to do what they can and manage taking out the raid, but losing two Buffaloes in the process. The sweep is just going to be brutal. Now we do take out one zero, maybe two. It looks like one, and I lose three buffaloes in the process. Let's 
So at least go after Clark. Some good runway hits on that that run. Just taking the uh, the flak losses and and doing the damage. It looks like. Yeah, doing good runway hits, that's going to uh, prevent Evoken from uh, rebuilding. Uh, going after the runway at uh, Sambus. Destroying three Zeros and two Mavises on the ground, that's a great little bombing run. Doing a sneak under the cap at Mare Singh. And they hit uh, the Asagari. Sadly, they lose one of their numbers on the way back, intercepted by those Tochos. Uh, good hit on that destroyer. Oh shit! Excuse my language, there's cap over uh, Pegu! Oh, that's bad. Uh, we have been sweeping it, but it's been so long that uh, since uh, he's had fighters there that uh, I got I got lax. We're gonna have to change that. Make sure these bombers are well escorted. Um, in any case, we lose fewer than we could have. Now here we have some escorts. Um, still have two damaged bombers, but uh, uh, none were downed. Again, luckily our uh, bombers do not uh, take losses um, from those zero those uh, Oscars. They're probably on very long range cap right now. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to change things up a little bit. Uh, Betty's uh, go after us um, near Kandari here. Uh, our carriers, we do have uh, of course good cap from our. Uh, from our carriers. Hopefully they'll be able to take out all of these. No, they don't take out any Bettys. That's disastrous. Oh, why didn't they take out any Bettys? The good news is that uh, uh, nothing hits, but that could have been that could have been bad. Time for the PM air operations. Another bombing raid at Port Moresby. We put what planes in the air that we can. Seven Bettys get through. Luckily, it looks like they're carrying bombs and not torpedoes. Going after our uh, unloading task force here. We take out a zero, lose two buffaloes. Thankfully, our uh, Transports remain safe for now. Oh, but this isn't good at all. Betty's and Nell's come in. Uh, place one hit there. Could have been worse on one of our our AKs. They're bombing from 12,000 feet and they're using bombs and not torpedoes, which helps us out. But uh, still, not a good result. Our poor fighters are just so exhausted over Port Moresby. Um, they have more damage to destroy these aircraft than they have uh, active ones just from the constant sweeps. Dornier is coming at Kandari. Can get handled. Uh, Betty's come after our ships near uh, Soriyaba. Um, but they uh, they miss after uh, running into some cap, and one of those Bettys is destroyed, along with one of her hawks. Oh, Warnell's coming in. Thankfully missing at Port Moresby. Mavis's 
getting shot down by cap, a lot getting shot down by cap um, over our uh, hexes. Again, probably running supply runs, and that AK does go down. Unloading at Laihana. And the Japanese do a shock attack at Chinkao. Doing two to one odds, reducing fortifications, and doing a lot of casualties. He's using tank regiments here, which are very effective against soft Chinese AV. Bombardment and Clark. And again, uh, more painful for him than it was us, that's for sure. Shock attack at Kuching. It is a 2 to 1 uh, attack, uh, luring for forts to 1. We are going to have to pull our uh, uh, planes out, I think. That recon regiment, those tanks, are going to be uh, a pain for us to deal with. And we bombard again at Port Moresby, doing a little bit of damage. You can see we have more uh, uh, AV ashore now. Uh, he has 354, we have 728 now. It's going to take quite a bit for him to dislodge us there. Continue to bombard east of Pegu. Again, taking damage, but that's not the point. We're just trying to slow him down. And that's it for the turn. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the Discord.